Good afternoon, everyone. It is Devin. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am cooking one of my all-time favorite foods. I, I'm sure it's a lot of your guys' favorite food as well. It is honestly shocking to me that I've never made a vlog about it before because I make it all the time. But it is pizza day. I'm obsessed with pizza just because I'm such a carb lover that pizza plus cheese plus toppings is like just a dream come true. And what is the benefit to making your pizza at home is that you know everything that's going into it, you can customize it, you can put whatever toppings you like on it and it's actually really easy. I don't home make the dough, I have, but it's a lot of work. But Whole Foods sells pre-made raw dough and Depends on the Whole Foods. The one in Miami sells it like in the pizza section. And then the one in New York, there's like a cold section where there's like freshly grated mozzarella, homemade pizza sauce. It's by like the prosciuttos and stuff. And then they have in a package, basically like half frozen pizza dough. And all you have to do is take it out of the package, put it in an olive oil greased bowl, and then top it with a dish rag and put it in a warm place till it gets to room temperature, lets the yeast come together, and you wanna do that before you start making it. So I'm gonna just put these bowls to the side. I'm gonna put a dish towel over them, and that's just gonna let it sit. I'm really excited also because we got this new pizza oven. Usually I bake it, which you can totally do. You can bake it like 450 to 500 degrees in an oven for like 10 to 15 minutes and it's super easy well as well and it tastes just as good. But for Christmas we got this, it's called an uni. It's basically like an at home portable pizza oven. So it's like, I'll, sh I'll, sh I'll show you guys what it looks like, but it's like this big. I'll try to find it online so I'll link it below. And it is so cool, it cooks the pizza and they say like, under two minutes or something, which is insane. So I will definitely be showing you guys that process because I myself haven't used it before, but I've heard about it and my sister-in-law has it. So I'm really excited. Okay, so we're having a bunch of people over. So I'm making a lot of pizzas. That's why I had five doughs. I cut usually each dough into half and it makes a pizza like this big. So it's really like 10 pizzas this size and do different flavors. The flavors I'm doing, caramelized onions, which I'm gonna get on started on that first just because the caramelized onions take the longest to prep. Caramelized onion with pineapple and hamburger, which sounds like the weirdest, most random combo, but is so good. It's kind of like a Hawaiian pizza, but I don't love ham, so I sub it for hamburger and Caramelized onions on pizza are just like a match made in heaven. So that's the first pizza. Second pizza, I'm gonna be doing a truffle mushroom. So I've got some baby bella mushrooms. You can really use whatever your favorite mushroom is with caramelized onions and truffle oil. Oh my God, it's so good. Um, the third one, I'll probably do two that's just plain cheese, two that's just pepperoni and I think that's it. Um, so yeah, so those are my flavors. I've done like barbecue chicken, I've done arugula with prosciutto, it's all really, really yummy. But yeah, so people aren't gonna be here until for a couple hours, but I like to prep everything so that when people get here, I can just chill and, and make the actual pizza, which is the fun part. So right now I'm gonna caramelize the onions, I'm gonna cook my mushrooms, not like really thoroughly, but just a little bit so they're already cooked. I, I mean, you could put them on the pizza raw, but I just like, I think it brings out more flavor and they're not as dry. I'm gonna chop my pineapple and I'm gonna cook my ground beef right now. That way it's all done. And then I'll make a whole station. I'll have my cheeses, sauces. Oh, I also wanted to do a pizza. I just started this little herb garden that has some fresh basil in it. Um, and I'm gonna put some basil on some one of the cheese pizzas because I think that would be a really nice touch. So yes, yeah, so let's get started. Just gonna chop these onions up. I don't really need to dice the onions when you caramelize them because they will shrink down and it's actually better when they're in like thin little strips and diced, I think. That way each bite you get kind of more flavor from the onions. Again, you can make whatever flavor. You can do just plain cheese if you want. You can do anything that you guys like. I've made cauliflower crust pizzas, which maybe one day I'll do a vlog on, but it was really hard, really time consuming, and it didn't turn out that good. <laughs> but you can buy them in the supermarket. 
I like to use, these are Vidalia onions, which is basically like a really flat onion. I like to use them because they're very sweet. So when you're making caramelized onions, it's like the perfect onion. You could use white onion, but if I ever were to use white onion, I honestly probably would add a little bit of sugar just to give it that sweetness. But these onions have that natural sweet taste. So I'm just gonna cook it in olive oil. And it takes a long time. You just have to be really patient with it because it can take like 30 minutes. You don't want to burn them. You just want to get those natural flavors out. I forgot to mention this, but one of the amazing things about the Whole Foods dough is I got just plain white, but some of the Whole Foods has whole wheat dough, which is awesome. And it honestly doesn't even taste that bad. Like with all the toppings, it honestly tastes almost as good as the white. If you're trying to be healthy, that's a good opportunity to cut back on some white flour. Okay, so I just roughly chopped these onions. I'm gonna pop them in olive oil in a skillet and I'm just gonna let them just do its thing by constantly stirring as well. I am gonna add a little salt to the onions just because I think it brings the flavor out and it makes them sweat, which means they kind of cook down faster. So I just mixed in the salt. I'm gonna be constantly like popping back there and stirring them because I don't want them to burn. In the meantime, I'm gonna chop up my baby bella mushrooms, which is just like a classic easy mushroom. They're my favorites. So I'm gonna thinly slice these up and cook them in some truffle oil, which you can get, honestly, it'll, a lot of supermarkets have it now. I'm gonna also use some truffle salt to really bring out the truffle flavor. And then after I cook the pizza, I'm gonna, I'm gonna drizzle some truffle oil over the top as well to really bring out that truffle-iness. I mean, if you had fresh truffles, that would be like the coolest, most ideal thing ever, but I do not. My fiance and his family and friends, I don't think are huge fans on, of mushrooms, so I'm gonna cut them up into really small dices so it's not like a lot of mushroom flavor because they're not fans of shroom. So I'm gonna do go through and then I'm gonna cut these up after I've thinly chopped them. Okay, I'm gonna just go through them. Okay, that looks good. Even if you hate mushrooms, you could eat this. Okay. So I'm gonna cook this down with that olive oil. I'm gonna add that truffle salt, which would really help the water release from the mushrooms and add more flavor. This one I got actually in Paris at Maison du Truffe, and it is so good. Okay, and while that is cooking, I am going to chop up these pineapples into smaller bits because it's just like too big of a, I like to bite and get a little of everything. The hamburger, the pineapple, the mushroom, whatever it is. I don't want like a huge bite. I know some people are like super weirded out by pineapple on pizza and I get it because before I tried it, I was like, ew, why would you want a fruit that's like sweet and sour on pizza? But it adds this, like when it cooks, really flavorful and it adds like this nice juiciness. Enough about the pineapple. Try it, don't try it, but I'm a big fan. And anyone who I've had try it, I actually really liked it. Another thing that I'm really into is, as weird as it sounds, is dipping like basically any flavor pizza in ranch dressing. That was another thing that my friends would do sometimes and I'd be like, ew, what are you doing? You're disgusting. Oh my God, I'm obsessed. It is so good. Like it adds so much flavor. I don't know. Maybe I'm weird. Let me know if you guys have ever eaten ranch or pineapple with your pizzas. We can bond over it. Check on my cooking stuff. Onions are getting nice and translucent. I'm cooking it on a really low, low flame because since I'm doing other things, I don't want it to completely burn. Okay, great. So I'm just gonna put these pineapples back in and just keep it in the fridge till I'm ready to top with. Now, I'm gonna cook this ground beef. I'm gonna get some olive oil in a pan and cook it up. I got a really little amount just because 
I don't know how many people are gonna wanna try my pizza. Just enough for myself. That is frozen, so that's gonna take a while. Well, after everything stops cooking, the prepping is finished. So, super easy. And if you're a very simple person, and you like just cheese, um, then you are in luck because there's like no prepping for that. You literally just put cheese on top. <laughs> I'm gonna finish chopping, or chopping. I'm gonna finish cooking this, wrap it up, put it in the fridge, and I'll meet you guys when I'm ready to start assembling all the pizzas. Okie dokie, so it's time to prep. I have this uni, the thing that came with the pizza oven. That's what you're gonna use to shovel it in. Um, just to measure, just to make sure that the pizza's gonna fit on there. I don't wanna do it like too big because then I'm totally screwed. So I got some parchment paper and it looks like it's roughly the same size. So I'm gonna just make the pizza on there. And that way I won't go over. So I was actually doing some research online just to make sure like how to make sure the pizza doesn't stick. Obviously flour, I put oil in the bowl, which is what I usually do when I bake it. But I guess if you're using a pizza oven, you should just put flour. I, I always did oil, put parchment paper, I put on the oil, baked it halfway, pulled the parchment out, then finished baking it. But for this, it has to be able to slide off of that thing. So I'm gonna just put some flour down on the parchment. Then I'm gonna take my dough. I'm gonna flip it onto a paper towel. I wanna get rid of the oil, basically, is what I'm trying to do. You can skip this step if you didn't put oil in there, but it's fine. Now I'm gonna just roll. And if it's sticking to your hands, oh, probably should take my rings off. Yeah. Take off all jewelry, okay. If it's sticking to your hands, add some flour. Mmm, it's gonna be so good. Let's just measure out, see. That looks pretty good. Make it a little bit bigger. The ha. Okay, that looks pretty dang good. Now, I'm gonna do, I'll make the my hamburger pineapple situation. So start off with sauce. This is the fresh sauce I got from Whole Foods. I've used the canned sauce before, which is like perfect as well and tastes delicious. I saw this and I wanted to try it. It looks pretty chunky. I might not have enough, so I might have to whip out the canned sauce. I bought a little bit of both. I want more trust. Okay, my fiance has told me he wants more crust. Okay, so I got three different types of cheeses. I got pizza blend, which is mozzarella, cheese, provolone, and asiago. I got just plain mozzarella, and I got Italian blend, which is provolone, fontina, asiago, and parmesan. I'm just gonna mix it up. I think I'm gonna probably put a little bit of mozzarella in each one. Um, since this is gonna be the pineapple caramelized onion hamburger, I'm gonna probably just do mozzarella on this one. Keep it, keep it simple. Do you wanna do something for me? I was gonna ask you to go get the basil in the garden. He's making the oven right now. Let's see how that goes. I like a lot of cheese. I like a lot of cheese. Oh goodness, that looks bomb. I'm gonna put a little bit of the pizza blend, why not? I like a lot of cheese. Now, start with the caramelized onions. Oh my God, I love caramelized onions. It's hard to spread the caramelized onions perfectly because they tend to clump together, but I think I did the best that I can. Then I've got my burger, my hamburger. Bring that on. Like I said, I like to have a little bit in each bite, so I wanna make sure it's completely covered with every bit of topping. See, I told you a little goes along with this hamburger. I barely needed any. This is like a Big Mac of pizza. <coughs> okay, then I've got my pineapple. I promise. Try it. This is gonna be so freaking good. I can't wait. I can't even remember the last time I had pizza, but it's been too long since I've made my own. Johnny and I, when we first started dating, made literally our home homemade pizza like once a week. <laughs> when we discovered the dough from Whole Foods, we were like, oh my God, this is life changing. Oh my gosh, that looks so good. Okay, first pizza is finished. I'm gonna get a, a cookie sheet so that I can move this dough to back here. Okay, I got my second parchment paper. What should we do next? Truffle mushroom? I'm done for truffle mushroom. Okay, got my flour. Get my dough. Take off all the olive oil. And just smack it on there. More flour. These sleeves were not a good idea. 
Got a lot of air bubbles in this one, which is fun when cooking the pizza because it'll like get all those big bubbles, which is kind of fun. One or two is fine, but you don't want like air bubbles throughout the whole thing. That geez, like all the toppings fall off where that bubble was. <laughs> Woo! Whoppa! Oh, nope, that wasn't it. Okay, here we go again. Woo! <laughs> I guess I need to work on my pizza throwing skills. Back to business. There are so many bubbles in there. I might have to take a knife to that. Maybe the roller will roll it out for me. Flour on there. Yeah, look at all the bubbles. My goodness. Okay, so for the truffle, no sauce. I'm gonna go mozzarella first, and then I'm gonna do the Italian blend, because I think those flavors will go really nice with the truffle mushroom. And then after I cook it, I'm gonna drizzle it with olive oil, or <laughs> truffle oil. So I've got that, and then I'm gonna take my Italian blend, sprinkle a little bit of that on. You could do sauce, but I just think with the truffle, it's like, I don't know, it doesn't taste good with the sauce. Should I do a little pizza too? Why not? I like a lot of cheese. I'm feeling crazy tonight. That looks great. Johnny was saying he wants more crust. Are you a crust fan? I like crust only when it's seasoned. Like Domino's has their hand tossed crust and it's like a breadstick. I like that. Oh, onions first. But when it's just plain, I don't know, I get like bored. Then try my best to spread out so that you get an onion in every bite. Mushroom. This is like the perfect Sunday. I went and I played tennis this morning. Johnny and I played his aunt and uncle. Then we came back. Well, he went to work and I just basically started prepping the pizzas. But we're gonna have friends over and watch football, and his nieces, and just eat good food and just relax. The weather's been so nice. Every inch covered. Now scoop it up. Like I said, I'm gonna do truffle oil after. Next up, I'm thinking, Cheese, I like a lot of cheese. It seems like a fan favorite. And then I'll do pepperoni. And then I'll do a little one with basil. And then I'll leave these two extra little ones for his nieces, because I think, the, oh my God, I have literally, I have flour all over me. Should have worn an apron, okay. So I think his nieces will want to do one, make their own, which will be fun. So I'll do the cheese and then the pepperoni and then the basil, basil cheese, like a margarita. It's gonna puff up in the oven. I watched, I watched Jamie Oliver. I watched a tutorial. Why do you always argue this? Devin, I've watched you, we've always watched many people make pizza. The crust is always a little thicker. I want some crust on my pizza. Okay, I'll, I'll make a crust. Sassy. Here's more sauce. This one actually looks more flavorful, like there's more... Think? Now, final step is I'm gonna just drizzle all of them except for the truffle one with um, just like a tiny bit of salt and olive oil. Um, and that's the final step. And then I guess Johnny ordered more pizzas, which I'll get to that. I don't know which flavors I'm gonna do. Probably just cheese and pepperoni. And yeah, we're gonna cook them up. It's gonna be so good. I can't wait. Oh my God. <laughs> Insane. Pull the thing off. Don't screw it up, pizza. babe. No. We sacrificed the the second hand pizza. All right, we're at 900 this degrees. This is the um, hot. Oh my gosh. Oh. <gasps> Whoa, what are you doing? There you go, Jay. Boom. Boom. All right, here goes nothing. All right, pizza number one's cooking. You gotta go liberal on the flour. Yeah, I'm super. Are you gonna pour? Are you gonna take it out and shift I, I'm gonna it? I'm gonna try. All? I'm gonna try. You know, I, I don't know what's gonna happen here. This is trial and error. I need the tongs. Where are the tongs? Look at the cheese. Where are the tongs? Did you get it? I don't know. Look, you can kind of check the the back, the ass of the pizza from here. 
No, 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 you can check it here. It's rising a lot. I need to turn it. Watch out. All right, we're attempting to turn it. No, no, I see the back cooking. Let it do its thing, bro. <laughs> I see the back cooking. Relax. <laughs> it cooks in a minute. Yeah. Two minutes. Yeah, yeah. I want like, to. I yeah, yeah. It's been like not even a minute. I know, but I'm eager. Where are the spatula? Where are the tongs? Right it's kind of browning. Okay, we're gonna try to rotate it because otherwise it'll burn. All right, ladies wow. and gentlemen. It's happening. <laughs> this one here. No, the cook, the dough's got to cook too. I think it takes a couple minutes, bro. Rotate a little bit. Yeah, I think right, it takes I'm trying to rotate the other way. I need the spatula. Spatula's to your right. Sous <laughs> chef, bro. Sous chef. See, yeah, see how it browns? You want to avoid that. Oh, thanks. <laughs> You just want it to be golden brown Too many all chefs. over. Thanks, thanks for the golden brown. Too many chefs. Who is the chef who made this? Thanks okay. for the golden brown. Let's you know, just, cool, just remember. Okay, Johnny, Johnny thinks bro. it's cooked. Oh. Pull it. Pull it. Oh. Wow. Wow. Oh my, God. oh my goodness. Wow. <laughs> um, so. My God, that was our test pizza. We've got some cornmeal on there so that it doesn't stick. Hold on, we're waiting for Erica. <laughs> is everyone ready? We're ready. Whoa. Oh, wow! Like, you know? Look, Wait, it's like already it's melting. Like yeah. Here's the spatula or the tongs. Yeah. Yeah, no, so this one, the, I lost some heat on the pizza oven. We have to cut it in half because the pizza was too big. <laughs> yeah. I lost some heat but on the The turning this one. was very smooth. I think you should turn it again. Uh-oh, the cheese is sliding off from where we cut it. I think it's done. That looks crisp. Oh, yeah, right. look at how bubbly it is. That's embarrassing. Don't say that out loud. <laughs> Slide on the cutting board. Oh, here's my kale salad. Oh, look, see, it got a little black on the edge. Good morning. I look so swollen from all of the pizza that I ate last night. Oh my God. I just am drinking a big juice right now just to depuff. Um, last night was so delicious. Made such a big difference at Uni Oven. I swear to God, like I love baking pizzas. If you don't have an oven, an Uni Oven or a brick oven or whatever, it's totally fine, but it just gets that like crunchy, chewy crust and like puffs it up and like melts the cheese, but cooks the pizza all the way through. Oh my God. It was so good. Everybody was obsessed and ate way more than we needed to eat. So I'm gonna link the pizza oven below. I highly recommend trying it out because it was awesome. Pizza night was a success.